Hello everyone, welcome back to How To Everything. Today I'm going to be showing you how to send a file anywhere to another computer, an iPhone, an Android, you can send it anywhere you want. So I'm going to be on Windows 11 for this tutorial, but you can near enough be on any computer or any phone to do this. What you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to open Google Chrome and we are going to search send anywhere into the search bar. I'm also going to leave a link to this down in the description so you guys can just click that straight away. But if you decide to Google it, we're going to click on the first link which is send-anywhere.com. Now the next step in the tutorial is to click where this big plus icon is. When we click this, it's going to open up our file explorer and that is where we select what we would like to send to someone. So we're going to click on that. And then simply select the file that you would like to send. So I'm going to select this video file. And then you just want to click this open button down here. Once you click that, you will now see here is the file. If you want to add another file, you can click the plus button again. And you can select another file to add. And as you can see now, they are both in here. If you want to delete a file from the list in case you accidentally added the wrong one, just hover over it, click that little delete button. Or if you want to reset everything, go to the top and click that reset button. Now here we have a couple options. We have the direct option, which doesn't require a send anywhere account, or we have the link and email options, which do. Now if we click on direct, it will give us a code that we can then give to another user who can go to send anywhere and type in the code, which I'll show you how to do now. So we're going to click on direct and then we're going to click on send. Now you may see an ad pop up. And you'll see down here, after X amount of seconds, skip. Just wait for that to finish and then click skip. Now, as you can see, we got a six digit code and a QR code here. This is where we are going to, uh, this is what we are going to send to the recipient. But in this case, I'm going to be receiving it myself just to show you in this tutorial. So the person who is receiving the file needs to go to send-anywhere.com as well. And where it says receive down here, it says input key. That is this six digit code here. So in my case, it's 331311. So here I'm just going to type in 331311. And then you're going to click this little download icon here. Give it a second to load, and then the, another ad will pop up. You're just going to want to wait for the ad to finish and then click skip. And as you can see down here, we have a progress bar and it is currently downloading it to my computer. And here we can also see it's finished uploading and it will download. Once it's finished downloading at the top right here where it says downloads, we can see the file that we sent here and we can also see it in our downloads folder, which is right here. Now this six digit code and QR code is valid for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, it will expire. So if you want to send something via a link, which will last longer, then what you can do is click the plus icon, find the file that you would like to send, and then click on link. Now for this, you are going to need to create an account with Send Anywhere. Once you have created your account, you can now click on link and you can click send. Once again, an ad is going to pop up. You're just going to want to wait for the ad to finish. The reason for the ads is because this is a free software, meaning they have to make money somehow. And in result, we have to view an ad every once in a while. Click on skip. And now you can see the file begin to upload. And we can also see the expiry date on when this link will stop working. So R1 will end exactly in 48 hours from now. What you can do is you can click here and that will copy the link to our clipboard and then we can send that link to whoever needs to receive it. Or we can take a screenshot of the QR code or send the QR code to whoever we need and they can scan the QR code within 48 hours to receive it. Once again, I'm gonna show you how to receive it. So we're going to go and paste in the link here. Give it a second. And once it loads, once again, we're going to see another ad. We just have to wait five seconds for that to skip. Click on skip. If there are multiple files being sent, the recipient can select and deselect files to download. So select the files that you want to download. However, they should all be ticked automatically and click receive. 
Once again, we're going to see the download bar go and it will be downloaded in our downloads folder again, which we can see up here. So that is how you can send a file to any recipient on a computer or on a phone. There is also a mobile app which you can download to make this a lot easier. But if you're using this on a computer, you can simply just go to this website and use this as many times as you need. Anyways, that is how you use Send Anywhere. If this tutorial did help you, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for watching How to Everything. I'll see you guys in the next one.